Demon Slayer Season 2, Episode 6 of the Entertainment District arc is now out and available for you guys to go and check out. I have just watched it. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on this episode. But let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. And let's get going. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well. And jump straight into this review of Episode 6 of Demon Slayer Season 2 right now. Okay, so episode 2 of Demon Slayer, episode 2, season 2, episode 6 is now in the books and done and dusted. I really enjoyed this episode quite a lot. We got some sneak previews of certain characters that are going to come up later on that have tie-ins with the original Demon Slayer core and Muzon himself, which I'm looking forward to and interesting to see how they are going to deal with all that stuff in the anime. Because if you guys have read the manga, you know exactly who it is. Anyway, so we pick right off where we left off with Tanjiro and uh, Daki having that fight. And Tanjiro is holding his own. Trying to learn and master the sun breathing technique. Trying to battle this upper moon demon. is no easy feat. It's no easy feat. Not many demon slayers have wielded the sun breathing technique. And nor have they even taken out an upper moon six. It's very hard to do. And we saw that with Ren Goku when he tried to take out Akaza and still couldn't manage to do that. Akaza was still in a league of his own. Now Daki looks like she's in a league of her own. She starts fighting Tanjiro, and Tanjiro is holding his own the best that he can. He starts to develop this sun breathing technique further and further and further as the fight progresses and then we see Daki bring back the other sashes that she left down there fighting Inosuke and all that she realizes that there's a Hashira down there and she's excited about it we see her then transform and she gets white hair she gets even stronger and faster and she decimates the village when people start coming out questioning why there is so much racket going on outside and she absolutely destroys everything. She cuts Tanjiro straight down the shoulder blade here as well. And you're thinking to yourself, damn, how's Tanjiro going to hold his own against this, this demon? Like, she is unbelievable. And then we get to see Tanjiro start to experience this anger that he has when demons start to just take lives. We also got a flashback of... Uh, um, What's his name? Ren Goku's father writing a letter explain, expressing how sorry he is and how bad he feels for the interaction with Tanjiro and how Tanjiro is helping Ren Goku's brother, little brother, and he's much happier and how he made his father realize just how much of a screw up he was and how, you know, good uh, Kirijo Ren Goku was, how good of a son he was and how he mastered and become a Hashira with only three volumes and... That was just heart felting. He also explained that there was another Demon Slayer with this Breath of the Sun that had the same mark that Tanjiro had that was very, very powerful. And as the fight progresses, we see Tanjiro start to get really angry. Speed, his power, everything just increases. And we see Daki start to get Muzon's memories of a particular Demon Slayer that he was talking about. That is just far beyond. And obviously something is connecting Tanjiro and this Demon Slayer together. Now I'm not going to say who it is. Because I don't want to spoil it later on in the track. So I won't say anything about that. But we then get to see Tanjiro absolutely go on a rampage against Daki. And you're thinking he's about to end her. And then obviously his body can't handle it. And he starts to break down. And you're thinking to yourself... What's going to happen next? Anyway, we then see Dengen and Inosuke and Zenetsu. They all are talking about going to find where she's gone. They go out and they start heading off. And just as about as Daki is about to kill Tanjiro here, you're thinking to yourself, you watch, something's going to happen and Tengen's going to turn up. And then there's this big clatter from behind her that just absolutely severs the top of her head. And you're thinking to yourself, Tengen is here. Here we go. But it's not Tengen. He's not there yet. It was Nezuko. 
she arrives and she's pissed off saves her brother and i'm sitting there i'm like oh my god here we go anyway then she starts battling ducky and ducky gets the upper hand of her slices off her arm slices her in half and slices her leg off but that's not the case nezeko actually is able to regenerate a lot quicker and she ducky even makes that remark that oh she has the upper moon of demon abilities that makes her regenerate way too quick and she's like, what is going on here? And Muzon even asked him to go after and kill this demon because she's out of the control of Muzon. Muzon has no control over Nezuko. And I thought that was really cool as well. There's, so there's something about Nezuko that is completely different from the other demons. And I think that's got to do with the lineage, the lineage of Tanjiro and his family that could play a part in this. But then we get to see Nezuko transform she starts to transform into this op power form she gets a horn she gets older she like ages up and she gets these like vine like markings on her and we see her go head to head with darky and she absolutely nails darky and it ends there it ends right there. Nezuko versus Daki. The Sound Hashira is on his way. Tengen's on his way with Inosuke, with Zenitsu. What is going to happen to Tanjiro? I don't know. This is just absolutely insane. It looked gorgeous. The music was on point. Some of the music in here was just incredible. And I loved every moment of it. This was fun, entertaining. Had an absolute ball with it. And I cannot wait for the next episode. We are getting some... We got some memories of Muzon and someone that was fighting him and that he obviously didn't have a good time with. That's what you can get from that. But I'm just enjoying this arc so much so far. I cannot wait to see what we're going to get next. We still haven't even seen Tengen actually show what he's capable of or see him fight. So I think we're going to get that very, very soon. The next episode is Transformation. So is that to do with Darkie? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to check it out. But I'm excited. Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. And peace out.